Hello, YouTube. If you're new here, I am able, and so are you. I have here today some Irish setters from Red, from Red Wings shoes. Some of you guys know about Red Wings. Uh, they've been around a while. Uh, the Irish Setter is a step down from um, their traditional Red Wings. And that's what I went out to the Red Wings store to get. However, couldn't find my size there. So I had to settle on these. Uh, my old boots have had it. Um, didn't want to get them resold. So I got these. Composite toe, waterproof. I got them on 722. Um, so let's take a quick look at them. Um, put this out the way. And so, uh, here we go. So, I have to say, I like them. I like them a lot. Um, these here, I like that look. I like the color. I like everything about them. I tried to wear them, and uh, spoiler alert, I gotta take them back, guys. Um, they've been making my heel hurt on my left foot. And, uh, I tried some different insoles. I tried, uh, lacing them tight so I didn't get any heel lift in the back. I can't find anything to remedy it. So, unfortunately, they gotta go back. I don't know if that would stop my heel hurting. I do know that uh, I didn't have any heel pain before the boots, but I did after the boots. And uh, the pain kind of goes and comes, but I don't want to keep wearing these boots and then, you know, I end up injuring my foot, uh, you know, maybe causing some long-term damage. I just don't know. So I'm going to err on the side of caution and just take them back because I am within my window of 30 days. Got a little wear on them. Irish setter, oil slip resistant. And um, these here, as you can see, let's try to work from the bottom. You see these different layers. You got that bottom layer, that middle layer, and that kind of a cork layer there at the top. It does have a um, Goodyear welt all the way around, 360. See that, and it's leather. It's a leather welt, good stitching. You see that Irish setter stamp there? It's good looking. Look at those three stitches, and it's got that little white one in the middle. That tag, ultra dry waterproof. This does have a waterproof booty on the inside. I like that uh, that little signature step there. That's four stitch right there on both sides. This is a composite toe, so it's not as heavy as a steel toe, um, but it's still pretty good. Nice stitching. So it's got a it's got a unique look as you, as you can see. This is uh, the moccasin. This is the mock toe. I like that. I like these uh, shoestrings. I like everything about this, man. It just, I'm really bummed out about that. Um, so it's waterproof. It's augusted all the way up to, right up here to the, let's see, you got one, two, three, four, then you got two speed hooks. So right here at this speed hook, it's waterproof up to there because it's a gusted right up right up to there if you can see that yeah man 
little cushion around the ankle. I like that. Nice leather pull tab. You know, some guys don't like that because, you know, if you're wearing pants and you sit down and you get up, your pants will catch that. I don't care about that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't, my pants are pretty low. I don't have my pants kind of high, so I don't have that problem. Uh, on the inside, let's see if I can get this. Oh, I can't see too much in there, so I'm going to have to take this out. Uh, these are made, I believe, in Vietnam. These are nice little insoles. Uh, it wasn't enough. I tried a thicker insole out of one of my older boots. And it was comfortable, but again, that heel pain came back. It would go and, and, and come back. Um, there's really not a lot to this, but you know, it's okay. Let's see if you can see on the inside. Can't really make out too much on the inside, but this is a beautiful boot, man. This one is not made. And, uh, yeah, made in Vietnam. And I wear about an eight, but this is a seven and a half because the eight ran big. You know, you need a little bit more room when you got a steel toe or a composite toe. Um, so this seven and a half fit, fit better than an eight. So I had to go a half a size down, but you know, guys, it's a good looking boot. I wish I could have held on to it, but I'm going to have to take it back. I'm going to see if I can get some Red Wings. I'm going to see if uh, Red Wing will be able to order me some. Um, I know the sizes are a little bit wonky on those. So you got to go a size down or half size down when you're dealing with Red Wing. So it's kind of a pain. But I did want to share this with you guys. Uh, let you know this is a... This is a good boot, even though it was made in Vietnam. It's not American-made. But what I have in mind is some, some thorough goods. That's what my work boots are, thorough goods. But they're not mock toe or anything like that. It's a whole different type of boot. Um, but I do want some mock toes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down that trail with thorough good and try them out. Uh, but I did want to share these with you guys. And I hope that... Uh, for some of you guys that are interested in this boot that you got a better look at it and i'm sure this this would patine beautifully if you put a little um oil on this or something man this would that 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 orange is it's kind of like an orange to me um it would probably tone down to a red if you use some beeswax or some mink oil that would probably go down to maybe somewhat of a, a reddish color. And so that's why I wanted these. And because it was the only thing that fitted in the store. So for you guys that were interested in seeing this uh, boot up close, I hope, you know, you got a little, you gained a little information. Um, but again, that left foot, it was, it was hurting my heel. So... I'm going to take them back and see if I can get some red wings. If not, I'm going down that uh, road of Thoroughgood. So, uh, if not, uh, you guys, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, I'm going to have some other boots coming down the pipe. Um, like, comment, and remember to thumbs up.